A prominent North Idaho tribal leader passed away last week. Amelia Trice lost a long battle with cancer. She led the Kootenai tribe into a nonviolent war against the U.S. in 1974, which ultimately garnered the tribe 12 and a half acres of land for their reservation. Anusha Roy spoke to some of the current council members who remember her fondly. She's remembered as a quiet woman who, when she spoke, every word counted. Amelia Trice is a woman who led the Kootenai tribe of Idaho into war with the United States in 1974, fighting for her community's survival and a home base. She had the vision way back then in 74 as what she wanted us to be today. Trice was the head of the council when the declaration was made, an eye-opening experience for Ronald Abraham, mm -hmm. who was by Trice's side during war. Opened up my eyes and probably opened up a tribe member's eyes to, you know, we are somebody, you know, and we've got to, you know, do something. The war was not violent. Abraham easily relived the days of the demonstrations along U.S. Highway 95, holding up signs declaring war, even asking for a toll. A, a toll of 10 cents to go through our Aboriginal territory. Trice's drastic steps ultimately led to the federal government transferring land that became the foundation for the reservation. The war led to the tribe getting 12 and a half acres. That was back in the 1970s. Since then, the reservation has expanded to encompass around 4,000 acres. Jennifer Porter holds the same position Amelia Trice did in the past and credits her for opening up doors for Native American women in leadership roles. She shared this quote from Trice when once asked what message said she wants to share with the community. She said, well, I think it would be to make aware to all people that our lives are not in our own hands. If we don't speak up and make known to the other people what our needs are. There are words that Trice lived by in the 1970s until the present. In North Idaho, Anisha Roy, KXLY4 HD News.